Taste in Fiction. Have you ever read a story with the description of a particular food that made your mouth water and, at the same time, triggered a certain emotion? Food offers a means for powerful imagery in literature by conveying various meanings. It can symbolize emotions such as temptation, nostalgia, and love. Here are some examples of how food as symbols can enrich the theme in literature. Turkish Delight in the Chronicles of Narnia. It is dull, son of Adam, to drink without eating, said the queen presently. What would you like best to eat? Turkish Delight, please, Your Majesty, said Edmund. The queen let another drop fall from her bottle onto the snow. And instantly there appeared a round box tied with green silk ribbon, which, when opened, turned out to contain several pounds of the best Turkish delight. Each piece was sweet and light to the very center, and Edmund had never tasted anything more delicious. He was quite warm now and very comfortable. Food is temptation. In the Chronicles of Narnia, four kids travel through a wardrobe to the land of Narnia and learn of their destiny to free the land with the guidance of a lion. The White Witch, who is an evil character in the story, puts a spell on Narnia and rules over the land. She gives Edmund, one of the four kids, Turkish delight to make him work for her. When lost in an unfamiliar land, Edmund is comforted by the White Witch, who feeds him this sweet candy. After finishing the entire box, a sticky faced Edmund casually betrays his brother and sisters. Turkish Delight is a type of soft candy made with dried fruit and nuts, and often flavored with rose water. In Turkey, it is mostly consumed on special occasions, such as the birth of a baby. And family visits during Ramadan. It is usually served with Turkish coffee at most restaurants and in the home. Madeline in In Search of Lost Time, and suddenly the memory returns. The taste was that of the little crumb of Madeline, which on Sunday mornings at Combray, because on those mornings I did not go out before church time. When I went to say good day to her in her bedroom, My Aunt Leonie used to give me, dipping it first in her own cup of real or of lime flower tea. The sight of the little Madeline had recalled nothing to my mind before I tasted it, perhaps because I had so often seen such things in the interval, without tasting them, on the trays in pastry cooks' windows, that their image had disassociated itself from those Combray days to take its place among others more recent. Food is memory. The episode of the Madeleine is the most famous part of Marcel Proust's novel, In Search of Lost Time. The grown up narrator experiences the recall of a childhood memory when he tastes a Madeleine, which is a light, fluffy, shell shaped cake. It reminds him of childhood mornings at his aunt's home in Cambrai, and this starts a train of recollections from his earlier days. Madeleine is a typical dessert, commonly enjoyed with coffee in France. It even represented the country in Europe Day in 2006. Solongtang in A Lucky Day. Oh, look at her. She won't say a thing. Still, no reaction. Oh, no answer. She must really be dead. Suddenly, he noticed that her eyes were staring straight up. With only the whites showing. Your eyes, your eyes, why won't they look straight at me? Why are they staring at the ceiling? Why? he cried. No other sound could come from his throat. Then the tears of the living spotted and wet the stiff face of the dead. Kim Chum Ji was like a man gone mad as he rubbed his face against the dead woman's. I brought you some solongtang, he muttered. Why won't you eat it? Why won't you eat it? 
unbelievable, today of all days, and my luck was in. Food is love. A Lucky Day, a short story written by Hyun Jin Gun in the 1920s, describes Kim Chum Ji, a rickshaw puller who lives in poverty. On a rainy winter day, his luck is in and he has many customers. On the way back home to celebrate this lucky day, he has a few drinks for himself and buys a bowl of sulungtang for his wife. However, when he gets home, his bedridden wife does not respond to him. She has already passed away. Then, rubbing his face against his dead wife's, Kim Chum Ji mutters ironically, Unbelievable, today of all days, and my luck was in. Salangtang in this story symbolizes Kim Chum Ji's love for his wife. This milky soup with a remarkably thick taste is made by boiling down beef leg bones for several hours until the soup becomes rich and creamy white. Salangtang is normally eaten together with rice and several side dishes, and plain noodles are sometimes added to the soup. This rich soup is most popular in Korea during winter when people need a nourishing soup to warm them up.